What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. Yo, what's cracking, folks? Jeremy Vassar here with Practical Painting, and in this video, we're going to be uh, priming and painting this brand new staircase behind me. The floor guys have already been in here and have uh, stained the treads, and they've also run polyurethane on top. So now is our job to uh, prime everything and make sure none of that stain bleeds through into the trim paint. So we're going to take you guys through that process. The first thing I'm going to do is take some 150 grit sandpaper and sand down any of the rough spots on the risers and the stringers. Um, as you do that and you look at something like this that's been stained and polyed, you're probably going to find some grit, particularly from the polyurethane, and that's what we're looking to sand off because we want everything to be nice and smooth before we prime. We'll take another look after we prime. Um, before we run our top coats. So again, first things first, I'm going to sand and we'll run the shop vac to get any of the dust up and then we'll take you guys through the rest of the process. You can see I'm just trying to, uh, I'm gonna sand with the grain. So the grain's going this way, so that's the direction in which I'm gonna sand. And it, there's particular rough spots close to the tread right here uh, where the polyurethane has gotten into the wood and also right down here where the also the polyurethane has gotten on. So that's a important part to sand because that'll come through when we start running our top coats uh, with our trim paint. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. And then just a little bit over here on the uh, stringers where there's been a little excess stain. Again, we're going to prime this all with oil based primer and that'll really seal all this in so we won't get any bleed through. All right, so uh, we are, I've got everything sanded and vacuumed. Now I'm gonna run some frog tape. Um, you don't always have to do this if you're very confident in your brushing skills. Generally, I don't run tape, but today I am. Uh, just to show you guys what that looks like. And I'm gonna be taping, and uh, we'll get some shots of this as I do it, but I'm gonna do um, uh, a run right between the crease of the tread and the riser. And then I'm gonna do uh, another piece between the tread and the stringer, because We've got to oil prime all of this, so we're looking at least three top coats today between the primer and then the finished coats of trim paint. So if you tape out and you do a good job, it just makes your job a lot easier uh, as the day progresses. So I'm actually gonna, this is just one inch uh, low adhesion frog tape or the delicate stuff. This is our favorite stuff for this kind of uh, thing. So just make sure when you lay it down that you get a nice seal and then just realize that you might have some touch up work to do uh, once you pull tape um, just to you know straighten out the lines or anything like that. So again, I'm just taping out the treads I'm not doing anything on the risers or any of this all of this all freehand which you guys will see in a little bit So here is taping All right, so one other thing when you guys are laying tape down uh, the way I like to do it I just like to get kind of you know about this much kind of a wingspan um, Probably about three feet here or something like that, but if you hold down and press down one end, I like working left to right but if you pin this down, then you can kind of like wiggle this line and keep it nice and taut. And that'll help you kind of work towards keeping it straight. As it goes down, you can kind of press it in. But that keeping it taut, it really uh, makes your job a lot easier. So again, I'm keeping it super taut with my left hand as I, and I'm, as I lay it down. And then really sealing it in there. All right, so now I'm uh, gonna pour my primer and I am using Extreme Block Stain Blocking Primer Sealer from Sherwin-Williams. This is an oil-based primer, which is important because we're going over 
uh, oil-based stain and there's polyurethane on here as well that we need to cover and make sure it doesn't bleed through. Um, so that is why we're using this product. I've got a mask on because the stuff is gonna stink pretty good. And I'm using an older, one of my two and a half inch brushes. So if this thing dies during the process, I don't really care. Again, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. I'm, I'll be doing the risers first and then I'll be doing the stringers second. Uh, and you guys will just kind of see that process. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my mask on, open this stuff up and get cracking. All right, so I've got the risers all primed and the risers were raw wood, so the whole surface needed to be primed, but the stringers here that come down, uh, they are primed from the factory, so I just need to prime the areas that have been stained. I uh, pretty much will end up doing this whole kind of piece here, but I don't need to prime this top rail because again, that's primed from the factory. Uh, one thing that uh, this paint splatters quite a bit and most oil primers do, if you do get a little splatter, which I did a couple times um, on the treads, uh, you just like wipe it away as quick as you can with just like a regular blue paper towel. It comes right off, particularly when it's still wet. Uh, so it's not the end of the world, not a big deal um, and easy to fix. Alrighty, so uh, we've got everything prepped out now. The risers and the stringers are primed. We've got them all caulked in and also wood puttied and sanded. So now we're actually able to do the fun part, which is painting them. Um, we're using the same trim paint that's been used in the rest of the house um, previously by the homeowner. So we're matching kind of what they already have, um, which is uh, Valspar Signature. And it's the semi-gloss, just a pretty standard latex uh, trim paint. So. Um, that's what we're using just to stay consistent with the rest of the house and I'm going to start by doing all the risers first and I'm going to do the same kind of brush pattern I did before with the primer which is I'm going to follow the grain of the wood and I'll be doing um, horizontal strokes uh, to kind of match that grain that's generally what you want to do uh, when you're painting risers so I'm going to take it you know one at a time I'm going to do all the risers and I'll come back to the top and then do the stringers um, all the way down, similar to how we did it with the um, uh, with the primer. And also, I'm not gonna use a drop cloth because this stuff doesn't fleck nearly as much as uh, the oil stuff. So it's pretty easy to work with. And if I see it flecking, then I'll grab a drop cloth. But should be okay. So now we're ready to rock.
Alrighty, so we've got two coats of uh, trim paint on all the risers and stringers. We've touched up the walls and then we kind of um, cut and rolled both of the attached walls to this uh, stairway. So now I'm just going to pull tape, but before I do, because we have three layers uh, of product kind of stacked up on this tape, I'm just going to score it with my utility knife. This is a brand new blade. I'm not trying to cut through the tape or anything. All I'm trying to do is make sure I get a clean pull. Um, so I'm just going to score the line where the uh, tape meets the riser. And I'm gonna do that all the way down and then hopefully we'll get some nice clean pulls. So that's what I'm doing now. Just gonna be, again, pulling tape and then I will do a few little touch-ups and then we'll be ready to wrap up. Alrighty, we are all done. Touch-ups are done and everything is looking super snazzy. So if you guys found this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. Amazing.